very unfortunate and a difficult situation. His crew chief said, you know, we knew it was going to be close, but we thought it'd be closer. We thought he'd be able to get down the backstretch and maybe have enough to get through three and four to fight until he got to the finish line, but it wasn't going to happen. Now Ryan Sieg takes to the track. Ryan Sieg has his own team, Ryan Sieg Racing. And they're based in Sugar Hills, Georgia. As Ryan Sieg is seventh quick out of the eight that have been on the track. Let's go to Kelly Stavis. With Casey Kane, who's chosen the right color fire suit for a weekend like this. But Casey, you watched Jamie McMurray put down a time. You seem pretty surprised. By Caution was thrown. And we also saw Ryan Sieg off the pace earlier. And he was putting some smoke out behind that car. So he has made the hard left turn into the garage area for his team to take a look at that car. Here they are looking at Ryan Sieg's car. Out in front, Brad Keselowski was able to hang on to the lead as the battle was between he and Chase Elliott. Ryan Blaney also running up in the top three. It's an interesting time in the race to have this yellow flag. It kind of gets you a little bit of a pit window, but I would expect all the leaders to stay on the racetrack with only